we have another paralysis in our tank. The Denisoni, Denisonian barb or Roslin shark over there. It lost the ability to use its tail, then its rear half, and now it cannot use anything but its head and pectoral fins. Everything else is paralyzed, he cannot move them. I don't know why it happens, this is probably fifth or sixth case like that over the last year. Then I'm observing fish losing the ability to swim. I think there was one Denison barb, maybe a one or two tetra, a couple of bala sharks, pretty much all in the same tank. I don't know if it, they, ra they run real fast and run into a wall and knock themselves out, damage, this, damage their brain. This is a big tank, I mean this is 240 gallon tank, so for a 4 or 5 inch fish, even if it's a, for a fast swimmer, but they have very good vision, it's not like they don't see the walls and they know where they are, but periodically it happens and I don't have the answer what, what is the root cause to that. I'm assuming that uh, it could also be a parasite or a bacteria affecting the brain or central nervous system. I'm gonna have to take him out, take it out and and euthanize it to end its misery. I was waiting for a couple of weeks and it's only getting worse. And it's been eating, even. it's still eating, look at it. It's, it's got very nice big stomach, very thick body, meaning that it's not starved at all, not emaciated or anything like that, and it was still eating while being half paralyzed. But I have to end it anyway. It's a mystery to me. Could be, again, either a physical injury or an internal pathogen, such as a bacteria or a parasite. <laughs> so it runs away from me, it's still able to run away. It's still alert just can't move its body. Alright, that's the paralyzed Denison barb. Almost four inches, I want to say, three and three quarters. At about a probably a year old or so. happened. On the outside it looks pretty nice. Well, my inexperience with the cichlids led to us losing all five of the electric blue Jack Dempsey's. This is the last one that struggled for a long time. I don't know what kind of disease it had. You see how little his tail is and how tiny the the pectoral fins are. See? Um, one eye was cloudy, they're kind of bulging out. It was still eating until even yesterday, maybe even today, during the day, and then I came out and he was dead at night. So there, just as people say, I found out unfortunately later after I bought them. We bought five to try to grow up and possibly resale, but we lost all of them. Uh, I bought them from uh, eBay, from an eBay vendor, I guess breeder, I don't know, $15 each. So, uh, I, all I can say is just confirm that they're not a strong fish at all. 
one of the weakest and this this we bought them like uh, what it was uh, I want to say June last year at about one inch so today is mid-March 2024 so April, May, June probably about 10, in 10 months this fish grew by 2 inches which is very little it's a very slow growing sensitive fish that's about all I can I can tell you about this for now the last of the Cuban cichlids that was holding on, holding on for for the longest time. Uh, the first two, the first died quickly, and the second one probably. Uh, well, the first one I should say died in about three or four months, while doing very well. Second one, I think, in six months, and this one is in about eight months or nine months. Um, they have this issue where they develop some kind of fungus on the outside of them which I'm able to cure completely but then it comes back pretty soon again so they they live with this little white tufts here and there on their body and then they go away and then come back, go away, come back more uh, diminish and then can come back covering a lot of the body and then diminish and they keep eating and everything is fine as if and then they die. This is the problem that we have with several kinds of cichlids in, in our water. I believe some kind of a pathogen maybe uh, columnaris. Well anyhow nine months we got them about inch, inch and a half, four and a half inches for the last two months I think it I don't know why but it stopped eating I put him in the hospital in quarantine and it stopped eating there while in the 240 it was eating very well even with all the fungus on him